Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and I just wanted to make a video that gives an update on what happened during and after my break which was primarily caused by Rockstar introducing GTA Plus. I'll put that original video in the description and the pinned comment if you want some background as to why I decided to take a break from GTA and streaming in general and video making for a while. This video will detail basically the fallout from all of that, what I figured out during my break how I want to do things going forward, stuff like that. So, uh, first of all, the things that will be staying the same, random races aren't going anywhere. It's relatively straightforward to make sure that there's a random race of some description, either a random all or a variation, going up every single Friday. You know, even if I'm away, I can record an extra race or two in advance or something like that. And I still enjoy them. And it's not vanilla GTA, which is the thing that's really causing me to, you know, lose sight of the whole thing that, of what I'm doing so 5M Project Homecoming all that kind of content that that's great I'm still enjoying that that's not going to go anywhere anytime soon the same is true for G friends you know they're not going anywhere either they're a stable at this point we will still be doing you know variations of very at, at certain times and my seasonal content is still going to be the, the thing that happens so there will be breaks to G Fred every now and then and potentially there might be Sundays where there won't be a G Fred, like this Sunday, for example, because I wasn't doing any G Freds during my break, so there's nothing to go up. But because of that, I'm also going to try to make sure that every Sunday there'll either be a G Fred or a Cannonball going forward. So for Cannonballs, if you don't know, those are on Project Homecoming on 5M, where it's basically like a G Fred, but with random checkpoints. We've done a number of them now. There's plenty of videos of Cannonballs on the channel, but I'm going to use them as filler for when there isn't a G Fred, because they're a G Fred like experience. G Fred's going to be going on up on Sundays most of the time, but if there ever isn't a G Fred, there'll be at least a cannonball as well. So you'll at least get something like a G Fred experience on a Sunday. iRacing, I'm gonna give that a little bit more focus. I'm gonna sort of continue what I've been doing with iRacing over the last few weeks. And when I did the Mazdas, the, the full season of Mazdas, where I'm just, you know, racing every week and putting up a video every week, there will naturally be some missed weeks just based on scheduling and things like that. But yeah, iRacing is my main sort of proper racing experience. GTA racing is going to stay the same as well you know when great things happen in regular racing on stream I'll put them up here whether it's staggered races or carvy car stuff or teardrop playlists or just you know any random amazing race they'll get uploaded you know I still do enjoy the racing aspect of GTA and not every GTA race that I do on stream for example gets uploaded to YouTube because they're not all great but if you do want to watch everything, you can just make sure you're watching on Twitch, either live or the VODs afterwards, particularly on the Sunday evening streams, because that's when I mainly do these sort of big GTA races with 30 players and all these different ways to do it. And GTA car testing is going to remain as well. It's going to be in a slightly different form going forward, uh, which I'm kind of excited about because it, it's quite new and, and doing something new is it's always exciting. But it's it's still going to be the basic same GTA car testing, lap time, top speed. And until I get that new sort of series and new way to handle it sorted, I'll just be putting any car testing updates in the current series but it will continue. You will always be able to find out the performance of any new car in GTA from this channel. I'm not going to be stopping that. But beyond all of that, I want to expand a little bit away from GTA. And I talked about this a little bit in the F1 video earlier this week. I'm basically making more time for other things. The GTA weekly updates aren't going to return, for example, and neither will the content creator live streams. I, for showcasing tracks that have been created by the community I do have other ideas in mind so it's not the end of the community verified program and showcasing tracks that have been made and are good enough to be showcased but it's not going to be in the form of you know one and a half hour live streams every week which is kind of a big time sink and the same is true for those Thursday morning videos they became quite involved and you know I, I, there was a lot of information there and I think they were really informative videos but it was a bit of a time sink and I want to use that, those hours and use that time to put to other things instead, namely other racing games. 
I do play other, you know, let's plays and all single player games and things like that. There's, if you go to bruffy.com slash, slash let's plays, you'll see a whole host of playlists. They're, they're all my let's plays always go up on my second channel. But this main channel for me has always been about primarily racing, but also multiplayer experiences. And, I, you know, I've played plenty of Wreckfest before. And again, some of the clips of that is on my second channel. But maybe we can do something with Wreckfest on the main channel when it comes to some multiplayer races and doing some interesting race formats. I can try the F1 games, as I talked about in the F1 video earlier this week. Maybe I can even try Gran Turismo, which I generally wasn't too interested in originally, but I've thought up of some ideas of how we could use it, because underlining all of this is the idea that I want to sort of bring the unique race experiences that we do on GTA to these other games. I think some of the best things that we do on this channel involve things that kind of deviate from the norm, like random races on 5M or car v car races on GTA. I want to try and bring some of that to other games and, you know, utilizing the fact that we have a community of people who enjoy racing and who are on these games to create these interesting and unique experiences. For example, I'm never going to do a career mode or go to try and the level of esports in Formula One games, for example, or I'm never going to try to get good and practice hard at Gran Turismo for proper races. Neither of those games are realistic enough in comparison to proper sims like iRacing or even, you know, Assetto Corsa or something, which I don't, I'm not ruling out trying, but I've chosen iRacing as the place that I want to learn and have that personal improvement to be competitive and do those sort of online races in that way. I don't have time to devote to multiple games in the same way. But there is scope to have more unique racing experiences with you guys to create some hopefully entertaining content while also being, you know, fun to participate in. It's all, all, all the early stages, of course, with all of this, so don't expect a GTA-like car v car video on Gran Turismo 7 anytime soon, but that's the sort of thing that I'm planning and thinking about at the minute. And all of this is kind of reflected in an update I made to my streaming schedule, which you can see on bruffy.com forward slash schedule. Instead of a spreadsheet which shows which GTA platform I'm playing on in any given week, it's now a spreadsheet that shows what I'm actually playing at all, in addition to GTA platform info. So you can always find that out if you ever want to jump into a stream, either a Saturday morning or a Sunday evening. You go to brevy.com slash schedule and you scroll down a little bit. You, there's a Google calendar that tells you when I'm streaming. There's a embedded spreadsheet which tells you which platform I'm going to be on for each date. Uh, but that also tells you what I'm going to be streaming, whether I'm going to be streaming iRacing or Gran Turismo or Inscription as I'm doing a playthrough right now on Wednesdays. And it kind of signifies that, yes, GTA is still a part of what I'm doing, but it's not the only thing that I'm going to be doing. Vanilla PC GTA streams on Sundays, because vanilla GTA on PC is a hot mess, have now given way to make space for maybe an iRacing stream on a Sunday, or another 5M server, or even just more 5M Project Homecoming racing on that Sunday stream that would have just been vanilla PC GTA, and it would have been a mess of modders and all that garbage. So, you know, I'm, I'm no longer doing the content creator streams on YouTube, so that time has now been added onto my morning Saturday streams where I'll do an hour of GTA and then five hours of something else rather than previously where it was two hours of GTA and three hours of something else. And, you know, my streams and my YouTube content are very interlinked and I think the presence of both improve each other. For example, you know, recording the races that I do off stream wouldn't be anywhere near as good and the streams wouldn't be as good if they didn't have the more regularly scheduled content that may make its way into a video. And I still do enjoy certain things on GTA. We'll be keeping the GTA streams on Sunday evenings on PS5 and Xbox Series X where we rotate between an event race and event playlist like Teardrop and regular racing playlist. All of that stuff is still what I enjoy about the game. I'm just aiming to get rid of the things that I don't enjoy and reduce the things that I'm not as bothered about in order to make way for new experiments and 
have less reliance on a game that I've for a long time disagreed with the direction of with GTA Plus obviously pushing that over the edge. It is a little bit of a scary time obviously because while I don't think this is like a major change as much as say stopping GTA altogether, I am certainly reducing my coverage of it to some extent. The hope is that those of you who are here will come along for the ride with the new content while also still getting to enjoy the usual hits and will bring in new people who perhaps discover my iRacing videos or Wreckfest videos but that all takes time and all non-GTA stuff will continue to get less views than any GTA video for the foreseeable future, that's just how it is. I know that and I'm okay with it, it's just that with this being my career and how I pay the bills, any change like this will have some level of trepidation along with it. I guess now would be a good time to mention that you can become a member on YouTube by clicking the join button or support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash bruffy1322 or subscribe to me on Twitch and in some cases for free if you're already subscribed to Amazon Prime. All of those alongside any donations I get on stream all support me directly and help me to bring this content to you but as I've always said it's never necessary and more so than anything else you guys being here watching my videos, interacting with likes and comments, and maybe giving any new content a chance is the most important thing that you could do for me. On that note, the iRacing video from yesterday was a really, really good one, and I'd love it if you were to check that out. I will leave a link to it alongside links to other ways for support down below in the description in the pinned comment, but none of it is ever required, and I'm just so appreciative that you're all here still enjoying and taking an interest in what I do even if it isn't everything that I do going forward, the fact that you're here in the first place, it, it just means so much to me and I never take it for granted. So more so than ever, thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time.